Several groups are pushing Congress to provide more help to students with food insecurity. And 10 News reporter Abby Coleman explains how school meal waivers are providing over 10 million students with food during the pandemic. Some parents struggled to keep food on the table since the beginning of the pandemic. Congress stepped up in a bipartisan fashion and said, you know what, we want to make it as easy as possible for schools to provide nutritious food to, to children. And so what they said was um, every child who's in school can get a, a, a free lunch every single day. For some students, these meal waivers provided their only source of food. We must have a national action plan. For now, the extension of these waivers at the federal level is very critical, and we call for the same bipartisan support that extended these waivers through the summer. School meal waivers help take a burden off of parents who struggle to put food on the table. But now, that help could be coming to an end. There's a chance that we could slip back into a situation that is much worse for our children, and, and we don't want to let that happen. But with the help of the American Heart Association, alongside the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, that all may change. We are calling on Congress to extend the waivers through the end of this school year. While we continue to address the issue of food insecurity in this country. These organizations hope that by renewing these waivers, they can improve classroom performance as well as decrease the stigma surrounding free and reduced lunch. So this is really an investment by all of us in our future, in the future of our nation, by ensuring that at least for that meal, uh, uh, every child is having something that's th that's nutritious. If Congress wants to keep these waivers for this school year, they will need to vote to extend the program before school starts in August. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.